This is my first ever Sen cut knife. It's called the Bronte. And I bought it because, well, uh, I was interested in checking out a Sen cut. And this is the, man, I, I, I like all of their designs, uh, but this one just knocked my socks off, I gotta say. That look of that blade, it reminds me a little bit of a Chinese Dao sword, and it reminds me a little bit of um, like a worn cliff or a real extreme butcher's cleaver. And it's got this beautiful uh, cross section here with those fullers, menacing and utilitarian at the same time with a 100% neutral handle, just two parallel lines and in between micarta, love it. Um, and it's a front flipper, look at that. So this is front flipper number two in my collection. And like a pro, like I was born front flipping. Um, you know what? I used to say, oh, I can't do this, I can't. And I realized you're just being dumb. Uh, and, and they've gotten better with these and uh, I've gotten better with these. I feel like uh, designers have really dialed it in. And uh, in this case, I believe Sencut has really dialed it in. This of course is the budget brand to a budget brand. So this is Civivi's, um, you know, this is another rung down, uh, and that's eight CR, eight, nine CR 18 MOV steel. You can see on that tiny little flipper tab. Uh, so like I was saying, Sen Cut is to Civivi as Civivi is to we. So it's all under one umbrella, but Sen Cut is the most budget friendly. Let me show you the box that came in real quick in case you're as new to the, uh, brand as I am. Uh, this comes in a cardboard box and you get a little pouch. I mean, this this was a $50 knife. They have a few, they have some that are less expensive. I have a feeling this one was opened up. Someone at, uh, perhaps Amazon opened this or someone ordered it and returned it. But anyway, uh, it's because I see little lint in here. How did the lint get in here? But anyway, uh, so you get that nice little, that's a, a good bit of packaging. Uh, I, I like these. They're especially handy to put knives in to send to other people. Uh, like in night, you know, you're loaning a knife or that kind of thing. Um, I don't tend to store them in that. I store them in a knife case, but, uh, so yeah, send cut. That's the, uh, that's the branding there, but really, I mean, look at the star of the show, this blade. It's so nice, so nice looking. It's very thin and very sharp. Uh, I uh, I stabbed a pinata with it. I'll, long story short, we've had a pinata in our front closet for a long time, and it was purchased as a joke because, well, whatever. It was purchased as a, as a joke, never filled with candy, and it was. it's been... It's been in the front closet as if we're going to use it. And it was taken out and sitting on our table. And I had just pulled this out of the box. And I was like, I wonder if that tip is... And before I could even think to not do it, I did it. And I did one of these thrusting C cuts where you're pushing in and you're twisting at the same time. And lo and behold, in this thick cardboard, this nasty little tip uh, in a twisting, torquing motion... Uh, created a very clean, thin slice in this poor donkey. And, um, well, if there if there was candy in there, it would have spilled out for sure. It was kind of a gaping, yawning C-shape, and I had to kind of put it back and put a little tape and then cover it with frills because I don't want my wife to see it. Uh, uh, but anyway, uh, tip very strong, uh, or uh, not very strong, but very sharp, so sharp, that that relative daintiness of it didn't matter when it was being twisted at high speeds and high impact into cardboard. There you go. It passes the pinata stab test. All right, uh, canvas micarta, green, nice, already starting to take on patina on the chamfer where I usually see it first in a, uh, in a, my Carta handled knife. I love how plain it is. I love how plain it is. Um, well, I said that twice. Loop over pocket clip. You got the re you have the flathead screws. That's cool. I don't necessarily need it milled 
a little milled pocket because I would prefer not to have a milled pocket on the left side because they do accommodate lefties. Here you have two uh, unceremonial uh, posts here that you can put your lanyard on. And two of them, I, I'm not sure if that accommodates a certain sort of loop through that uh, lanyard people like, uh, though I am a sometimes lanyard, well, I should say fob person. Uh, breaking it in, I can't tell, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm presuming that it is uh, on bearings. But now that I mention it, it doesn't really feel like it. Uh, let's see if I can see them in there. If they are, they're captured in those things that look just like bronze washers. <laughs> so I'm not sure. Uh, but it kind of has that feel. Um, but I don't know. I'm just assuming that uh, I got to open it up. Uh, I like seeing the internal stop pin there on the blade. So what is that? Weigh in. Are those bronze washers there or are those? Because I, I didn't know Sencut did washer knives. I was just assuming that they did all sort of bearing knives. So look in here. This is nice to see. And also it's nice that I have a flashlight on my desk so I can highlight this. But I love that sort of lat, um, what do you call that? Those struts. It's like strut work on a bridge. Very cool in there. Keeps it light but rigid. And yeah, that's about it. This is a nice utility knife. I would imagine a um, just a handy all around EDC knife. I say I imagine because I just got this, um, but I do know it passes the, the, the pinata test and that's an important hurdle to get over with any new knife. Uh, I, I am not crazy about the lock bar um, access or surface, but it's better than, it reminds me a little bit of, is it this one? No. Oh, it reminds me a little bit of the riffle in, in its lock bar access and lock bar. And I definitely don't like it on the riffle here for some reason. It feels a little bit better. But here you go. You can see a, a, a family resemblance. Two very unique and handsome knives, uh, both from the same house, um, different divisions, and uh, about the same price point for these two knives. Uh, very cool. If you like the riffle, I think you might like this. The Sencut Barante, as in Charlotte. Uh, there it is, okay, with the riffle, and I have a couple of others. I was show I brought this out before. This one, uh, this is the uh, Keen Natter, another weird name. Uh, they have, uh, but at least they name them, and, and I'll go with Asticus any day uh, over PFP106 or whatever it is. Uh, but width, very thin on both of these knives, uh, but this one more contoured, though still very neutral about what is this this is a three and a quarter inch blade and this is about a three and a half inch but look at all this nice canvas micarta i do love canvas micarta here here's another one that has a weird feeling canvas micarta it's it's polished and very smooth unlike these three here and then this one also has a, a has a thinness to it i like this sort of avocado green they have on on this this is the hadros also has a has somewhat insufficient lock bar access to me it's all right but i end up using my fingernail and uh it totally ruins my pedicure all right. Oh, pedicure. That's for the feet. Manicure. Manicure. And then last one I'll show it with is a recent purchase that I've adored. And I really like the Canvas Micarta handle on this one. This is the K Max ROM designed uh, Pelican Mini from Kaiser. That's 150. 
that's N690 CO steel, very thin, high, high, high height, flat grind, beautifully sh uh, shaped blade with his signature uh, thumb swale on the back, which results in that sort of double peaked Bowie look that I'm very fond of. He also does that with the uh, more Tanto-y style uh, knives that he designs, Tanto-y. It's a word. Oh, oh. Speaking of awesome, inexpensive knives, the Tangram Santa Fe. You can still find these on um, on Amazon, though. I don't think Tangram is producing knives anymore. Tangram uh, is the Civivi to Kaiser. And then Kaiser just sort of gave it up, I think, and has just continued on with its Vanguard line. So it has a, an expensive line and a less expensive line. Uh, yeah, I love that knife. Check it out if you, uh, yeah, see if Insta if uh, Amazon still has it. And then just for size comparison, here's a three inch. That's the Hogue Mini RSK Mark One, And then there is the um, PM2, which is always, <laughs> I'm always shocked at how long the handle is because it's, I didn't realize these blades were about the same length. As a matter of fact, This is longer. How can that be? Uh, one, mm, mm, almost three. Now this is like 3.4 inches. And it, well, in any case, there you go. About the same size and blade, but definitely shorter and more dainty handle. So Sencut, I like Sencut. <clears throat> I think the, uh, I think the prerequisite will be Micarta. I'm finding that I'm not crazy about Wii's G10. It just, I'm just not. So I'll probably stick with my Carta if I get another send cut. But this one, so nice. So nice, I might get another version of it. And I think that would force me into the G10 arena. But hey, if it's maroon G10 and black blade, I think I could do that. Look at that. So cool. Thanks for watching.